Hi everyone, it's Annie, and I'm back today with a video about my most anticipated releases of 2021. Now, I have a little over 50 books on my radar coming out in 2021, so in this video I picked just my top 10, and it was really hard to do. But you can see the rest of the books that I'm waiting for on my Goodreads page. So let's get right into this. The first book I want to talk about, I'm going in order of release date here, is coming out on January 19th, and it is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. The concept of this book sounds incredible. It is historical fiction, and it is set in 1954 in San Francisco's Chinatown during the Red Scare and the main characters meet at this lesbian bar called the Telegraph Club. And of course, during the 1950s, during this time, being lesbians was not okay, and especially being of Chinese descent during the Red Scare was really difficult. So all those things mixing together will make a really, really interesting read, so I'm excited to read this one. The next book I want to talk about, I am super excited for. It also comes out on January 19th, so that's going to be a good day. It is Remote Control by Neri Okorafor. And I know I've talked about this before, but the concept is super interesting. The main character is the Angel of Death. Uh, her touch brings death, and she travels alone with a fox companion, and it just sounds magical. The description says that she is searching for something that fell from a meteor before she was changed, before death visited her and changed her into this angel of death. So it's it sounds like an amazing mix of fantasy and perhaps sci-fi elements. And of course, I love everything that Neri Okorafor writes, so I really hope this is going to be good. The next book I want to talk about is called Fireheart Tiger by Aliette de Baudard, and it's coming out on February 9th, I believe. And it's described as a Vietnamese-inspired fantasy romance that takes inspiration from Howl's Moving Castle. So, of course, I immediately put this on my to-read list. Um, I'm just so excited, and it seems like it's full of really interesting political intrigue, lots of, you know, who rules what kingdom and stuff like that. So I really hope this one is going to be good. The next book I want to talk about also comes out on February 9th, another exciting day, and that is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This sounds absolutely amazing. First of all, this cover, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Um, so, the main character, Deka, she is 16 and she's going to go through this ceremony that will determine whether or not she can be a member of her village. And in this ceremony, you have to have red blood. So they, I guess they're gonna cut her or something and see what color her blood is. But instead of red, her blood is gold. So she has a choice. She can either stay in her village and be killed, or she can go and join this special forces of girls just like her with golden blood and special abilities and fight for the emperor. This sounds absolutely amazing and the character of Decca I already love. I mean it's not even out yet but I already love her and I am really looking forward to this. The next book I want to talk about is In the Quick by Kate Hope Day and this will come out on March 2nd. Now, I know I already mentioned this in my Get to Know the Sci-Fi Reader tag video, but I'm still super excited for it. I still love this cover so much. I love pink, and it's just gorgeous. 
So the main character is named June, and she's this really smart lady astronaut, and she is wondering what happened to this ship named the Inquiry. This ship was powered by her uncle's design of power rods, fuel rods, I guess, and it went missing. And everyone else assumes that the crew of the ship is dead, but June believes they're alive and she wants to find out what happens to them. And while doing so, she meets her uncle's former protege named James, and a romance happens, which, to be honest, I'm a little bit wary of because I don't usually like romance, so I don't know. And this book was labeled as LGBT, so I'm a little bit confused, but I can't judge it until I read it, and I'm still really excited about it because the concept and the plot sounds really interesting. So I hope it's good. The next book that I'm super excited for, I'm really excited, can you tell? I keep saying that. It's called The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He, and it's coming out on May 4th, I believe. And it's described as a thrilling sci-fi YA book, and it's like the show Lost, but with a satisfying resolution. So we'll see about that. <laughs> One of the characters is named C, I think that's how you pronounce it, and she is stuck on this deserted island with no one and nothing but a rickety old shack, and she remembers that she has a sister, so she tries to find her. And there's another character named Casey, who is maybe the sister because but it's not said, so I don't know if that's true. She lives in this eco-city, the last unpolluted city on Earth, and she is a STEM prodigy, but she wants to escape from that life and use her knowledge of science to actually help other people and help the Earth. So I... I don't know. I mean, this description is a little vague, but first of all, the cover looks great. And I'm down for anything that is sci-fi, especially this creative sci-fi, so I'm down for this. I really hope it's good. The next book I want to read is The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nivo. And you guys know that I am obsessed with Nivo's uh, novella, fantasy novella series uh, that includes the Empress of Salt and Fortune, and When the Tigers Came Down the Mountain. I'm obsessed with her, so I am really looking forward to this book. It's described as a classic American coming-of-age novel with a twist. So the protagonist is queer, Asian, and adopted. But in this age, this jazz age in America, where it's not common, she is wealthy and super well-liked by all her peers. However, she knows that even though she has that privilege, it's not really a privilege because she's still seen as exotic and most doors for opportunities are closed for her. So I'm really, really interested in reading a full-length novel by Nevo because her other books that I've read were short novellas and her writing style is just so beautiful so I'm really excited to see what she can do with a full-length novel. The next book I want to read is Gear Breakers by Zoe Hanna Mikta and it comes out on June 29th. Now I've also already talked about this one. Uh, it is a queer sci-fi novel and the premise is that two girls are fighting on opposite sides of a war, but they realize that they're actually fighting for the same cause and they end up falling for each other. And in the background is this sci-fi Pacific Rim-esque world. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely adored the Pacific Rim movie. 
So yes, I, I need to read this book. It feels like it's made for me. The next book I want to talk about is called The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gold. And it's coming out... When is it coming out? August 3rd. Okay, so first of all, beautiful cover. This is about a town in Oregon called Snakebite. And in this town, teenagers are disappearing. Some of them are turning up dead. The weather is acting strange and just all in all strange occurrences are happening in this town, especially after popular TV ghost hunters come to town. I absolutely love ghost hunting shows. One of my favorite things, I used to be obsessed with the ghost hunters as a kid, so uh, already this book has me hooked. And the daughter of these ghost hunters named Logan teams up with a girl in this town named Ashley, and they try and figure out what's happening in this town and why these kids are disappearing. But while they're doing that, maybe they start to have feelings for each other. So, lesbian ghost hunters? I mean, <laughs> what could be better than that? And the last book that I want to talk about in this video is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune, and it comes out September 21st. The concept of this book already has my heart breaking. It sounds like it's going to hurt, but in a good way. <laughs> so this guy named Wallace is a ghost, and he is collected by the Grim Reaper from his own funeral, but he died so young and he doesn't want to cross over yet to the afterlife. So he is given one week to find out what he missed from life while he was alive. And as he's doing so, he's brought to this tea shop, and the owner of this tea shop, named Horace, is also the ferryman that brings dead souls to the afterlife across the river, and maybe he and Horace have a special connection together, and I know <laughs> this book is gonna hurt me, but I, I absolutely love it. Just from this premise, I'm I'm hoping that it's going to be a new favorite book of mine because it sounds absolutely magical and just, uh, it has everything that I could possibly want in a book. So yes, I am really looking forward to this. Okay guys, and that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're looking forward to any of the books I talked about in this video. Or please let me know the books that you want to read in 2021. Any recommendations you could give me, I would really appreciate. And please, if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me. Alright, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.